this video is all about how to fix this your device ran into a problem and needs to be restart it's a blue screen error and you can see the error code as well in accessible boot device so in this video i will show you how to fix this issue first turn off your laptop and turn it on again and open your bios i am using a dell laptop and you need to press f2 key to open the bios menu first go to system information and check your hard disk status make sure your hard disk is showing in bios if it's not showing that means there is a hardware issue with your hard disk in my case my hard disk is showing and there is no hardware issue with my hard disk so make sure your first step is check your hard disk then load the default settings or factory default here you can see the option the sata mode will be changed sata operation will be changed click on yes and then click on exit to save the changes it will restart your laptop so your first step is check your hard disk in bios then you have to choose load default or factory default settings in bios and then you have to save the changes and exit wait for few second here you can see preparing automatic repair so it will open your automatic or advanced repair option wait for few second diagnosis your pc it will diagnose all the hardware parts here you can see automatic repair option go to advanced option then go to troubleshoot then go to advanced options then go to command prompt now select your login username then enter your password if you have otherwise click on continue now type a command chk dsk space slash f space slash r then your c drive c colon this command will take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete so i will fast forward this video with the help of this command it will repair your hard disk issue if you have any issue with your hard disk it will fix it then type exit to exit command prompt then click on continue that's it it will solve your issue of blue screen error so first you need to open your bios and check your ssd then you need to select load default or factory default settings in bios then you need to open your advanced repair option and use the command prompt to fix your hard disk related issues that's it here you can see my window is loading now properly thank you thanks for watching tech white have a nice day